What's up guys, back in Alex's shop and we have a little bit of a sneak preview here. Uh, here's a 37 inch tire mounted up on Alex's truck and he's done some work chopping up the fenders to make sure these fit and uh, doing a little uh, cut and re-weld on this bumper here to make sure that there's plenty of clearance and that it matches the, uh, the cut on the fender, but man, 37s on a Tacoma, it's pretty crazy. And this thing is gonna be a rock crawling beast. Let's see what Alex is up to here. Getting the other one on? <laughs> yep, mounting up the rear so that we can back it in and start tearing apart the front end. So Alex pretty much already had a front end suspension kit that most people would uh, would be proud to own. Um, Total Chaos uppers, uh, Total Chaos uh, spindle kit, spindle gusset kit, and uh, the Total Chaos lowers. Um, but uh, apparently this just wasn't going to do it for Alex. So first things first, getting the brake caliper hung up out of the way, uh, disconnecting all the brake stuff and getting the uh, rotors off. So yeah, that's all done on both sides. We got almost everything off here. Uh, brakes are swung out of the way there. And shock is out, spindle's out. Hub assembly, lower control arms, and let me tell you, those did not come out easy. These guys are kind of a pain. But yeah, all we got left here to do is uh, we're gonna be welding in the cam tab gussets. rack is going to get ready to come out here so getting close to uh, a full strip at the front end. So one major concern that we have here before we get rolling on the uh, cam gusset uh, kit is the fact that this is pretty bashed in um, and we probably will have to apply some heat and bend that back out so that it looks a little bit more like the one on my truck or the one on the other side which is like slightly I don't know if you can see that down there but it's like slightly kicked out on this uh, well, let's see it's like the lower edge right here where it got bashed in pretty good so we're wondering about the fitment of the of that gusset kit if it's actually gonna work out or not but um, yeah all things to be worked out here in the next day or two so what we're doing now is trying to um, do a power steering flush here before we pull everything apart and um, got a pretty grody power steering fluid reservoir and we've pumped out as much of the fluid as we can but there's still a bunch of residue in the tank and so it looks like we're going to need to clean this and so it looks like the power steering part of the project here is going to be a little bit uh, labor intensive but we're going to get after it and See how far we can get today. So this guy right here is kind of a little jerk. Well, it looks like it comes apart so you can clean all this gook out, but we are having a hell of a time getting it open, but um, we really don't want to reuse this with it being as nasty as it is. It does not appear to be a way to take it apart, to clean the insides, and there's apparently a screen in there too that needs to be cleaned, so we might be at a standstill here, but um, I certainly don't want to buy another one at $179 OEM. 
So, dude, you want to catch me up on what you did since I was here last time? Yeah, so last time we ended with flushing the steering out. Uh, I got that done, ran some seafoam product through it. I don't know if it helped or couldn't hurt, so. Yeah. And we'll also be pulling the steering rack out this morning and welding up some some gussets. Yep. So everything's disconnected and this guy, apart from the steering shaft, is pretty much ready to pull out, right? Yeah. Yep. Cool. All right. Well, let's get to it. <laughs> I guess it's pretty important to center the steering rack, I guess, so that when you put the new one in, your steering wheel doesn't wind up in the wrong place. Um, so we just did that. We've got one foot from the frame to the end of the tie rod there. Um, and uh, it's the same on both sides. So we should be able to disconnect this steering shaft from the rack and we should be good to go. Check it out. Steering rack is out. And it was a little bit of a bear. But uh, yeah, she's empty and ready for the new one. <laughs> 